I'm Sonny Saul and I'm the director of Generate Ingenious, a programme that looks at disadvantaged students and tries to get them through into Russell Group Universities, hopefully, to do science and technology. They do a range of activities that can be from physical sciences, it can be sports science, computer science, and uh, we also do financial education as well. So last year, Google funded Generating Genius for £60,000, and the reason for that was to enable them to really progress their computer science programme, to help create workshops for kids to learn to code, and to actually do creative things with that. So for instance, Generating Genius, uh, with that money, uh, partnered with an organisation called Sketchpatch, and they taught kids to actually code and create art. So it actually brought together something quite sophisticated and technical with something actually quite artistic, bringing right and left brain together, bringing art and science together, which we love at Google. And that's one of the reasons why you know, we're very keen to support that endeavor. So to create a piece of artwork, they've started from scratch. So almost no knowledge of code whatsoever. And then we have been teaching them over three day periods and they've been developing their, their sketches and their artwork over these three days and they've come up with some brilliant things. Actually we're really quite impressed with how sharp and how quick they've managed to pick everything up. The most exciting thing of Generating Genius was the um, probably in Jamaica where we cloned pineapples. That was quite fun, we never got to taste them but that was quite fun. Um, also, I've been on TV three times, which again is a really good experience. Been in newspapers, been on the radio. Being exposed to all these things, doing presentations at Google or Royal Academy of Engineering in front of Shell and really, um, you know, big names in science. We went to UCR where we got to do things with robots. We got to build our own robots and use Bluetooth and be able to control it with your own phone using apps. I thought that was really interesting because you can see we, at first it was just a load, the robot was just a load of like plastic pieces. We got to put it together, we got to program it ourselves and it's like all the hard work that we did, it actually like paid off because we got to present it in, fr in front of Google as well and we got to show what we done from scratch. We did it all ourselves which is something I didn't think I, could, I would be able to do. I think my favourite would have been the REF base because I think we had a, all of us, um, there were quite a few of us, but I think we all had a really good time and it's something really different because it's not every day that you really you get to test out some Royal Air Force guns, go camping with the Royal Air Force and try out their flight simulator, so I thought that was my favourite. There is a huge need for young kids who are disadvantaged but have great talent in science, technology or maths to be able to get access to the university places and the opportunities that otherwise they would never have the chance to do. Uh, it's an incredible ambition, it's one that we really support at Google and one that I'm passionate about myself. There are a range of supporters, Johnson Matthews in engineering, Google, science and computing. Um, we have Shell, who've helped us also in engineering and green technology. And so what we do with these sponsors really is uh, we can link with them because they see that uh, working with students, even this young, um, it's really the, the kind of source for future employees and I think that's a, a, a great visionary way of looking at uh, a, a talent pool that would otherwise be wasted.